An interesting thing about the Grand Tetons, the French are the ones who discovered the Grand Tetons. And Teton is kind of a French word for Dolly Pardons. <laughs> Le Grand, of course, in French means big. So it actually, in, in French, means big Tetons. <laughs> that's, that's true. I mean, that's as gentle as I can give it to you. <laughs> but that's absolutely true. That's what those mountains are. Okay. Six letters in this word, and the clue is, oh, my dear, I had no idea this was in here. I had no idea this was in here when I told that wonderful story. Dolly Parton. I never look at these things. And on top of that, Dolly Parton has an enormous one. Well, uh, Chuck. I'm almost embarrassed because I know her. You can tell me what it is. Income. Boy, you got it right. It's a consuming desire. A square worth a thousand dollars, two blue squares, each worth five hundred. Shall I try it? A number two, and number seven. Go for it. I and a T. A T, please. You're getting intense there on me, Henry. <laughs> like the stop. Intense? Oh, never mind. It's a cons. <laughs> <laughs> it's a consuming desire. I'll take the other eye, please. Stop her. They work for you, Laurie. Well, I'll start off with tile number five and tile number ten. An N and a T. I'll try the T, Chuck. It's a consuming desire. You see, there are just some days when, depending on how you look at it, everything either goes right or wrong. Mechanically speaking, it's a consuming desire. I'll take the end check. Okay. Stop her. It did work for you, Henry, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> Two more tiles, if you Go don't know it. tile four, please, and a nine. Please get another letter up there quick. Right. E and a D. <laughs> now take the D, please. No! No! Well, why not play speed word, Laurie? Why not? Okay, hands on your buzzers. Here we go. Same game. One who gets there the quickest gets the word. It's a consuming desire. Ready? Go. Henry. Have a night. Yes, that's exactly right. Go, go. That's the strangest sequence of events I have ever followed in my life on a jerk.